Ducks! Buckle up, it's Tuke Talks. Buffalo, New York has always been known as the city of good neighbors. These days, we've also taken to calling it the city of great creators. Tuke Talks is dedicated to showcasing artists, musicians, chefs, brewers, and innovators of business that are kickstarting the city of Buffalo all over again. Takasudo, a street and graffiti artist from Tokyo, Japan. Zamir Gata, the owner of Zamir Vodka. Addison Henderson, director, actor, producer, and writer. We've noticed the renaissance happening, and it can be seen all around us. So hop on board as we chat, cruise, and show you what makes Buffalo great, right now and on the horizon. The acclaimed artist, Philip Burke. Yo, yo, it's your boy, Conway the Machine. Me, Robbie Takak, from the Goo Dolls and Music is Art, in discussion about the art renaissance in Buffalo. Welcome to Two Talks. I'm Josh Pornhoft. I'm here with Philip Burke and Robbie Takek of the Duga Dolls. So, so great to have you. It is an honor and a pleasure. Uh, read a quote saying how, as a kid, you wanted to be a rock star. And, you know, musicianship wasn't really the thing, but art seemed to be your avenue. Well, now you've become a rock star of art. So, congratulations. <laughs> and it's got to be such an experience to interact with all these cool people, what first got you into like rock and roll music? Well, it's the same thing with my, you know, the way I drew people. I just, as a kid, I just couldn't get enough of it. You know, sure. I just I just fell in love with it. I think my first album was Iron Butterfly, uh, in a guy to beat up. But I mean, it's just, even in terms of my art, mm-hmm. it's always been necessary for me to have music that make me feel like I could dance before yeah. I start doing my art. Mm. So when in the time that I spent in New York when I was just getting my career going, other than doing my drawings, I was, you know, spending the nights in the dance clubs. Mm. And then as I got older, of course, you know, your body can't do it anymore. Sure. But, <laughs> but I always go for that kind of energy in the studio. Mm-hmm. That's great. It's almost like when you're walking down the street, you want to hear music to kind of liven up your life. And, you know, you're doing that in studio as well. But I think about, like, why do I do people? Why do I do mm. caricature? What? It's almost like from when I was young, I couldn't not do it. And it's the same with the rock music. It's like sure. I couldn't not listen, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, right, right. That makes, that makes sense. And I imagine it must have been quite an experience even caricaturing Andy Warhol and these different mediums and these subjects do you have like one that stands out more than the other or i imagine that was pretty yeah that was that that stood out the most yeah yeah, sure. yeah. um that was a trip um, i think your cobain with the wings is the one that i always think of like like when i think of like the iconic cool picture yeah cool. yeah, mm. yeah. you that. know what i i think my favorite paintings are of people who are really independent spirits. Mm-hmm. I think my favorite two might be Miles and Kurt. Okay. Um, because when you're doing somebody like that, um, you, there's just so much freedom involved. Uh. The difference with Andy, of course, is that he sat for me. And that's really, really rare. Yeah. I know it's happened a few times, but that's really, really rare. But And then with Robbie, it went to a different dimension because not only is he a very independent spirit, but I got to know him. Yeah. And I just love his, you know, joy was it a, of life. Was it a similar process where you guys were sitting together while you were painting? No. Or no, this is external? No, no, okay. No. okay. Well, well, he had painted us before. He had he had painted us uh, about maybe 10 years ago for mm. Gusto. Mm. And, and uh, we didn't know each other then. So it's fun for me to see that depiction of me. Mm. And then we became friends. Sure. And to see this depiction because that's like got a lot of me in it man yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. the other one's up here in my head but yeah, this, yeah, this got a lot of you. me in it you know oh, and uh you, you know it, it was it was fascinating to me to see that you know? sweet yeah, i'm yeah. glad to hear that yeah. yeah 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 and is that where your friendship kind of blossomed and started yeah we met um gosh i can't even remember the first time we met when was it was at the birchfield 
Oh yeah, that's right. Cool. That's right. What a perfect Phillip, place. Phillip, yeah, that's right. Uh, Philip had a show at the Birchfield, and and uh, there were our two paintings were in it. Mm-hmm. So my daughter and I came down. There was nobody else in there. Yes, it was. It was just the two of us and my daughter, and she was running around playing, and we were looking at paintings and just kind of chatting. Yeah, yes, yes, that was the first time. And then, uh, yeah, and then Philip came and painted at at uh, Miss Bazaar yep. a couple of times, and you know we just kept in touch, and, and uh, this came along, and it, I don't know. It's, seems like one of those things that sort of was just gonna happen. <laughs> I, I, I have so much respect for Robbie. He's like a hero to me. Uh, I mean, for one thing, how he brings, you know, he, how he supports all the young artists mm-hmm. and not just music, but, mm-hmm. but art too. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. But also how he, you know, Goo Goo Dolls are alive and kicking. I mean, it's just amazing. <laughs> it's an inspiration. Uh, yeah. yeah. My aching neck. <laughs> you got this. You got this. Well, and that's what's a really cool aspect of you guys as individuals. And, you know, you're both bringing music and art together in a different way, but also similarly, which is really unique. And I think that's what really uh, people are loving to see. Music and art together are one of the greatest things in my mind. That's what makes me uh, thrive. You know, if I'm ever down, I listen to a song. If I'm ever feeling uninspired, I look at an image. And you guys are inspiring people in so many ways. So like rock and roll, country and western, yeah, mutton and me, yeah. <laughs> hand, hand in hand. That's what we got here. Well, guys, thank you so much for Absolutely. hanging out with us today. Absolutely. Thanks um, for letting us sit in the tube. Absolutely. Yeah, what great. do you think? We go for a quick ride. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> this is so awesome. Awesome. Too fun. You know, that's what the kids are doing these days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been down the alley yet? But it's uh, but it's right here. It's like literally right here. That's her stuff. Oh, whoa, this yeah. is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's so cool. It's pretty cool stuff. It is so cool. I remember Mark first told me about Wynwood Walls. Have you guys been there? No. In Miami? No. Oh my god, you gotta check it out. And Mark had this idea of doing that here. So it's all these world around artists in this industrial area of Miami that this developer hired to come in. And I had the opportunity the last time I was down to check out. And this is kind of what the catalyst is for, for this for, for alley. This and you know Chuck Tingle? Yeah. yeah, this is Chuck's in here. Chuck knows how to do this. Oh, oh yeah. No, you know? yeah, I saw this on yeah. Facebook and I love yeah, it. Yeah, pretty unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, no, he just gets better. And better. Dude, it's crazy, isn't it? Like yeah. his, like his. It's unreal. I just love it. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> amazing. <laughs> yeah. He gets it. And he's been with years for some time. Since, since, yeah, years. Yeah, a long, long time. He's, he's doing a piece this year, too. Mark's, Mark's done a ton of stuff with us. Yeah, okay. A lot of years. Oh, I gotta love that one. <laughs> Cherry Blossom Festival every year for the last few years. It does like really kind of cool coins and kind of waves and stuff like that. And this is Mark's piece right here. Yeah, that's Mark's yeah. And you see the tongue? Yeah. yeah. Analyze it. Yeah, both. So that was going across everything. So we're gonna turn and go and analyze the baby and spray paint into a tongue. So, isn't that crazy? And then he painted over the other. <laughs> oh, hey, that was fun. That was great. Great to meet you. Awesome. Such a pleasure. Oh, likewise.
could only see where I have been. Then maybe you would really know where it is. Many thanks to Buffalo Rising, Music is Art, Queen City 22, Lit 716, and Mad Graphics. Jump on board, it's Tuk Talks. Join us next episode on Tuk Talks. Well, if you could only see where I have been. <laughs>